In this video, we'll go over how to create thumbnails for 3D assets. We'll focus on a simple but less scalable way of creating thumbnail images for your USDZ files. Let's use this dining chair model as an example. The first step is to open up Reality Converter. Second, we're going to drag in our dining chair USDZ file into Reality Converter. Third, adjust the model within the viewport so that we have a good perspective on it. In this case, I will zoom out a bit using the pins gesture on my touchpad. Next, we will adjust the perspective. Rotate the model by clicking and dragging on the touchpad. I think this looks good. Because we're going to take a screenshot of the viewport, let's disable the grid so we have a blank background. The fourth step is to take a screenshot. There are many ways to do so, but I prefer using the Sketch app. Click on Screen Snap and draw a rectangle over the model. As you can see, there's a panel showing the width and height of our rectangle. Let's adjust the width and height so that our rectangle becomes a square. In this case, I will set both the width and height equal to 750 pixels. You might need to reposition your capture square so that the vertical and horizontal padding are appropriate. When we click on Capture, we are presented with a preview of our screenshot. We can save our screen capture by going to File and clicking on Export. Give the image a name, select PNG from the dropdown, and press Save. Next, we're going to locate the image in Finder and open it in Preview. Here we see our image of the dining chair model with a black background. Ideally, our thumbnail would have a transparent background. By having a transparent background, we can overlay it on any color background in our app. For the fifth step, we'll be removing the background from the image. There are a variety of ways of doing background removal. I'll show you a simple but potentially tedious method. In Preview, click on the Markup Toolbar button. Next, select the Instant Alpha tool. Slowly and carefully click and drag on the image until the background is highlighted in red. If you drag too much, parts of the model might also be highlighted. We don't want this to happen. Reset the Instant Alpha tool by single clicking anywhere on the image. Click and drag until only the background is selected. Press Delete. We now see that most of our background is gone. However, there is still one part of our image that has a background. Let's remove this. There we go. Our thumbnail is now complete and we are ready to use it in our app. Make sure to save this file. To recap, Creating thumbnails for our USDZ assets can be done by positioning our 3D asset in Reality Converter, taking a screenshot, preferably with a square aspect ratio, and removing the image background. And that's it for this video. 